Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome to Blue Tries No Rest for the Wicked, a top down action RPG, <laughs> believe it or not, from the makers of Ori and the Blind Forest and Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Moon Studio, something very, very new for them. This is published by Private Division, who were very kind enough to send me a key to the early access version of their game. That's right, it is currently in early access. However, I know that that can rub people the wrong way, and I'm not always the biggest fan, but when it is used for the correct reason, it can be something truly remarkable. And I think in this case, we're seeing exactly such a case. The developers of Moon Studios have already put out four patches within a week to improve things like performance, to improve things like quality of life, uh, balance issues. And some of you are going to say, well, yes, but shouldn't the game have shipped that way? And maybe that is true. And we can have a long conversation in the comments about the state of the current game industry. But when a developer is free to admit that the game is very playable, very fun, however, there are some things they want to continue to add along the way and they're upfront about that, and they are asking if people want to become early adopters and kind of go along with them for that journey, I say, go for it. And I am very excited to see what they're able to do. Again, those four hot fixes have been amazing so far. I have played about 15 minutes of this just to test it to make sure that I could record it. It does seem to be playing rather well, especially after those other hot fixes. Uh, this game, you're some sort of very long-limbed, or at least long-armed creature. I don't know exactly what race or species you're supposed to be, uh, but all I know is that it is year 841, and you are investigating a plague known as the Pestilence. This game will be coming to consoles at a later date, I would imagine probably once it reaches 1.0, the full release. Right, so let's go ahead and take a look here and see what we get. Now, I am automatically in Create My Character. These, these are goofy. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I have no idea what to make of this. I really, I really don't. So, I will create my character. I never do anything to, should we make, should we make Silvarius? I guess so. All right, give me a moment. I'll be back. Okay, thankfully for me, and, and maybe for you, because you don't have to deal too much with this monstrosity, uh, not a very in-depth character creator. I am terrible at creating my character, so that's actually going to be okay. Why? What is this? That head doesn't match at all. Look at those forearms. My goodness, he could squeeze the juice out of a coconut. I don't know what that saying means, but anyway, let's go ahead and create this. Uh, we have to select a realm which I guess is just a save file, so let's go ahead and do that. Create a realm. All right, we have a realm name. Okay. Uh, looks like it says Goobertown. It's actually Gooberton. Thank you for uh, correctly pronouncing uh, that. So, prologue. You can even choo or either choose to do it. Now, I did do it in my test. I will bring you along with the prologue. There's some good tutorials in there. Um, I do like that. I like the fact that you can actually immediately choose to turn that off, even if it's your first time playing. I think that's a great idea. Okay, this is their early access spiel. Over the past six years, we've poured our hearts and souls into creating a next level ARPG experience, one that we hope will push the genre forward. This early access launch of No Rest for the Wicked marks a new era for us at Moon Studios. We are grateful to have you with us on this journey, and we deeply value you your feedback and help in shaping this game on the road to our 1.0 release. Be prepared for an epic adventure, visceral challenging comment, and the fact that this is still a work in progress if you are ready, onwards to Sakura. When I was a child, um, God told me stories. Said the pestilence turned men's faces inside out. Made them grow limbs where none should be. 
the world was nearly lost in its wake. And she prayed. And the Sarum would never need to return. Some worth bringing the likes of them to shore. Oh, is that me? Kind of look like a thrall from uh, Dark Souls 3. By the way, I did say that this is Blue Tries No Rest for the Wicked. This is in no way, shape, or form, at least at this juncture. A let's play. I just want to make that abundantly clear. This is me trying the game out. I am going to say that this will likely be a mini series, three, maybe five parts. I haven't decided yet because I don't know exactly what is involved in the game just yet. But just enjoy the ride as we have it. So I am a Serum Warrior. I hope the volume's okay. It seems like maybe it's a little low. Let me see if I can't. Adjust that. Now I have played with the settings just a little bit. The camera shake I've reduced to about 50%. Oh, you can actually adjust the camera zoom. I kind of like that. Oh, and I love the fact that the menu actually goes away so you can see these in real time. I might actually set the camera zoom a little bit better. I think for viewing purposes, that'll be a little bit better. Let's see, uh, display. We are playing in 1440 currently just to make sure that it's running smoothly. Okay, uh, I did turn motion blur off. I don't know about you, but I can't stand motion blur, so I turn it off when I can. Yet, yeah, it's at 100%. Dialogue's at 100%. I turned the music and the sound effects down just a little bit, but I may want to boost it in my recording software just to be on the safe side. All right, I did boost that up a little bit, so hopefully... That's a little more yeah, balanced. To let you on board. Okay, so I can I, talk I, just about to everyone. That's close enough. Just keep your distance. There's a dark about you, and I don't want any part of it. You've said them to Sacra. I don't know whether you follow the sickness or it follows you, and I don't care to know. All right, pretty solid voice acting so far, and I like the fact that everyone is interactable. I guess I am considered a serum. That's why the long arms. Do you all have long yourself. arms? I'll trade no words with you. <laughs> These fools think they know who you are and where we're headed, but they've got no idea. Strutting about. So we're not exactly welcome, killed. is the feeling that I'm getting. That's fair, because they don't know if no I'm the cause of the sickness or apparently going to be the cure. Captain wants a word with you up above. Yeah, really impressed by the voice acting and the fact that every NPC is voiced. Even just presumably the ones on the sidelines. You put the men on edge, Sarah. We've trafficked in people before, but, well, I won't be sorry to be out of these waters with you off my ship. I was paid to deliver you to Sakura in one piece, and I will. But get to your quarters, and stay out of our way till landfall. What will let you below decks? Okay, so I was trying to just advance the dialogue one line at a time. It seems like maybe it skipped a bit, but got our orders. Now let's take a look and see what we have available. We have our icon up in the top left, 0 out of 50. I'm not sure if that means experience, experience points or what. Then a small bar above that, and what I imagine is going to be my health bar. Down in the bottom left, I have four rhombuses, I guess is what we'll call them, diamonds. And those are going to be what? Oh, look at him just doing push-ups. All right, stay fit. 
So I have an attack with square, and it looks like that little radial icon that appears is my stamina. So if I drain that entirely... Well, I can just keep attacking. I just can't do a combo. So it doesn't look like negative stamina is a thing. Also, sprinting doesn't seem to consume anything. I am using a dual sense controller right now. Triangle does nothing. Circle does nothing. If I hold down X, I run. I do have a duck animation with the left analog stick. Probably to sneak. Not sure to find on a shithole like Sakura. Okay. So what do we have here? When I hold my right bumper, those icons change, and X becomes like a super punch that requires 100 of something, which I don't have. So maybe... Oh, okay. Take a look up there in the top left. That one middle bar is flashing, so I need to generate some sort of mana or energy or something like that. Okay. So the left and right bumper just changes the skills, I imagine, that you're going to have available. All right, we got a chest here. What do we got inside? We have loot, and it doesn't state what this is. So I'll just go ahead and take all some sort of currency, some sort of bronze currency, I imagine. Ooh, looks like things are actually destructible here. More currency. All right, I am kind of a sucker for destructible environments, but not only that, environments uh, with destructible items that can then be looted. It's also a very nice feature. You know, very much Zelda-like, so I can just collect all the rupees inside the pottery. Can I kill a rat? I can, and I can also harvest the rough cut meat. I don't know that I can really call that rough cut, I just punched it to death. Groovy, got some more currency. You know something bad's about to happen to the ship, though, so... Am I even gonna get a chance to spend this? Who knows? Okay, the combat feels weighty, feels visceral. Even though I'm just punching and kicking right now. And that kick is really nice, that sprint kick. Imagine that's gonna send enemies flying backwards. There was a little stutter there. I don't know if you just saw that. That wasn't just in the recording. It is in the game itself. I got a whole plan a year of this. Two of washing the decks. Four more in the rigging. Another five at the helm. And the captain! Just like that. Uh, you know, he's got a plan. How can you fault him? Good for you, Swabby Nyan. Hey, you. A little help with the meal. Fetch me the mushrooms from the shelf and herbs from the table. I have to keep studying. But it'll go from bum to ashes. Alright, so little uh, mini quest here. Got some mushrooms, and then he also wanted some herbs. There we go. Artemisia herbs. There you go. Along with a little seawater and a lot of sawdust. <laughs> I mean, I guess cellulose, anti clumping agent? Sure. You can eat a mushroom in a pinch, but nothing beats a cooked meal. Yeah, have some for yourself. Oh, I do hope that cooking is actually going to be a thing in this game. I I love cooking in games. I really do. I want to learn all the recipes, all the things, all the benefits. Alright, find your camp below and rest for the night. I will, I will, but first... There are barrels to break. Fancy a prayer before landfall, you know what? Just maybe. Our ship might seem thick with sinners, but the church welcomes all. Criminals, heretics, even the Dasher, even you. Okay, so the church welcomes the Serum, which apparently even worse than the Dasha, whoever that may be. You're just another job, as far as I'm concerned. That's fair. Do I want to break everything? I'm supposed to be heading to my quarters. All right, there was a ladder up there, but. Definitely out of reach. Unless you want one plucked out. I like that he's telling me eyes off the cargo when I'm clearly just breaking everything. Real nice, like. Don't fret if you can't sleep. First few weeks aboard, I, I couldn't catch a wink. The image of Wart just looked like that tooth had been, you know, painted or sharpied. Go to sleep. I guess that's all we can do. 
sure hope nothing bad happens while I'm sleeping. So something bad has happened while I was sleeping. Blood rusted sword, one-handed weapon. So we have to equip it. So let's take a look at this. We have six damage, 10, I believe that's poise break or guard break, something along those lines. We have a skill called spin. Cost 11, gain seven. I don't know what that means just yet. Four gem slots, okay, so there's some sort of gem system or enchantments, that's gonna be great. Requirements 10, strength. You can see all my stats on the right hand side. Oh, wait, okay. Cost 11, gain seven. What does that mean? So over on the right hand side, those symbols correspond to my stats. But if it costs 11 of that, that would put me in negative one flower pot for lack of other descriptors and then the kind of diamond eye symbol I get seven so if I equip that nothing changes to the stats so I don't quite know what that means yet but I suppose in due time serum hood cloak leggings and gloves okay stitched by the serum imbued with the words of the sayer so the words of the sayer that's gonna be Oh, wait a minute. You know what? I should check my stats. There we go. So, stamina. And then the other one was focus. So I gain, I gain seven focus. I co it costs 11 stamina. Is that how I'm supposed to interpret that? Perhaps? All right, anyway. Let's move on. So we have an attack. We do have a charge attack. And we do have our dodge. Back up, charge attack. Back up. Doesn't always do it double, it seems. Oh, back up. And finish him off. There we go, nice and simple. We got a wooden shield there. Let's learn about the wooden shield, I guess. So wooden shield, 95, I, mess I imagine that's defense. Plus 10 armor? Cost 10 stamina, gain 6 focus, and requires 10. I believe that was dexterity. One of the, only the most desperate of times should put weathered wood against steel weapons. Very, very true. Okay, ready shield. Alright. Back up. We should try blocking. Yes. Okay, stamina. I do like the, with this top-down perspective, it's not too bad in terms of how it focuses on the enemy. That's pretty nice without a lock-on system. That can be a challenge. Seems like they have figured that out pretty well. Now, I'm not sure why I'm not getting the tutorial prompts, but I know to jump, all you have to do is simply run at the gaps. There we go. Got that earlier when I was doing a test. Now this one, I know I need a sidle. So if I go up against the wall, you can see up there at the top, press Y to sidle. I need to actually do that right here. You don't want to try jumping there. Okay, now we do have a parry. Is there any way to sneak by him or actually get a backstab? Got the captain's quarters keys, good. Nope, no there's not. Alright, let's get into the open then. Alright, let's wait for that other attack. Missed it. Big time missed it. There's parry. Now parry doesn't necessarily open them up for a critical, it just gives you a nice little stagger. Oh, that was beautiful. Finish? Nope, nope. And how about a kick? No, not a kick because not using that. Small vial of stamina. Also, need to take a look here. 
So now the slots have all been filled up. So up would allow me to eat, down would consume the bottle of stamina, left is my shield, which has no skills other than parry, and then my sword, which does have that special spin move. Now, three out of 50. Is that experience? Have I just got three experience? Perhaps. Oh. I think we can sneak up on this enemy. Very nice. Oh, almost finished him off. And now I have. Great. Get some more loot. I try to fight like you, but I can't. My name's not what. It's. Oh no. We're never gonna know what War's real name was. You know what? We're dedicating this playthrough, or this this let's you know try, not a playthrough, to Ward, whatever his name really is. All right, the art design is amazing. There's no getting around that. This game just looks great. Ooh, a little bit of stuttering in the cutscenes. Not a not a good sign. Odessa, not very welcome. Okay, oh, oh, watch it, watch it. Uh, how about a skill? Was that, oh, no, I was using the wrong button. There's a skill, that's pretty, that's very nice. Can I do a backstab with, yes, I can. So you don't have to be stealth to do a backstab. They just need to be having their back towards you. All right, you can regenerate, oh, I missed that. Okay, let's put the shield up. Okay, even the wooden shield has pretty impressive blockade. Oh, but look at that. My other meter, which I guess is going to be... All right, let's use that. Very, very nice. Shield up. But anyway, the other radial that is my guard break, I imagine. Oh, went for a parry. Unsuccessful. Let's try again. There we go. Finish. Very nice. The combat's pretty fun. Again, it's visceral, and I like that. Oh, that was a nice shield bash. That is a brutal attack, and just knocked him way down. Too far for the parry. Don't be doing that unless you can get in nice and close. Back up. Charge. Okay, we're gonna have to heal here soon. Ooh, we broke his guard. Get to the great handle, press Y to open it. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and heal it. Eat some of that delicious mushroom soup that's full of sawdust. Okay, big slash attack. I generated pretty quickly with my attacks. Okay, wait for this guy to do something. Come on now. Oh, I had an opportunity for a backstab because we focused on my teammate here. There we go, very good. So I don't know if that's a kill counter. It might be a kill counter instead of just experience. Or maybe it's one of the same, I don't know. Come on, let's go for parry. There we go. Oh boy, that made it very difficult to see with that water. Good finish. Nice block. Yep, kind of hard to see right here, but... Alright, stamina management's definitely something to consider, as it typically is in these... Oh, that's a big weapon. I didn't mean to actually follow that up a second time. Watch it back up. 
And got him. So up to 11 out of 50. Where are you, Odessa? It's too late for fairy tales. It's too late for any of us. Believe it or not, this is exactly how Lost started. It's true. The king is dead. Long live the king. He was a great man and a good friend. I, I will mourn him. We will all mourn him. Your father's soul is at rest now, King Magnus. The people look to you for strength. I offer my condolences and my counsel. As I did for your father for many The Great years. Pestilence has returned, Lord Bowers. Uh, yes, I have heard the rumors. They're not rumors. Even now, it ravages the island of Sacra just off our own shores, turning their men and women into unspeakable things. The Pestilence is a punishment upon those who have lost their faith. Is it now? How convenient. You question the church. You're not the church, Madrigal. You're just the tip of its spear. Enough. Whatever the cause of this sickness, I cannot allow it to spread. My father has been weak for many years. I will begin my reign doing what he could not. My king, you are grieving. I must recommend against any hasty It's already done. Tomorrow, Madrigal Selene and her Inquisition will set sail for Sacra. I promise we will cleanse the island of this wickedness. Our new king's faith in the church is well placed. Our king's faith was never in question. Ellsworth is a strong ruler, your grace. Sacra will recover. No. Sacra will be reborn. This is my responsibility to the kingdom. With God's hands, we will reach into every corner of the island and bring it like a newborn babe. Screaming into the light. There we go. There's the prologue, it seems. And, okay, we do still have our soup. So while we lost our stamina, we lost our sword, we lost our shield, and apparently all of our clothes have been torn to uh, tatters, we must have an impressive thermos. Just a doggone impressive thermos. Hubie Halloween would be very, very proud. And if you get that joke, we can be friends. If you don't get that joke, it just means um, you're normal. Relatively so. All right. Hey, got an apple. Very nice. Now, what do we have? I think we're looking at it. <laughs> not, not much. Oh, we got the sparrow horn. This is what Odessa was using. 
An ornate but weathered horn found washed up on Sacred's coast. All right, this is a key item. We have an apple, raw meal, 10 health over 10 seconds. Mushroom soup, 35 health compared to the 10 that the apple offers. Uh, and that, that would be it. And we have the tattered serum cloak and the tar uh, tattered serum leggings. All right, hopefully we find a weapon here soon. The shallow, moderate. Is that supposed to be the difficulty? This is a horseshoe crab. What's fascinating is that this is in fact a horseshoe crab, and while it's telling me to pick up a horseshoe crab, that image is very, very much not a horseshoe crab living in Rhode Island. I have seen my fair share. That is not a horseshoe crab claw. Uh, nor do we typically eat horseshoe crabs. I can get some mushrooms. Very good. Now this, the claw seems to come from this crab. Which I could kill, but I can't collect, or at least I'm sure. Oh wait, yes I can, yes I can. And it's horseshoe crab. That, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Moon Studios. Why is it? Oh, what did I just have here? Oh, press Y with the woodcutter's axe equipped to cut down a tree. So there is harvesting. That's another thing I'm kind of a sucker for. Oh! Fishing minigame. Oh, they are checking so many boxes right now. This is pretty exciting. Anyway, uh, Moon Studios. How is it you're going to have a dead horseshoe crab that I can loot and I get horseshoe crab, but then there's a very different crab, which is very, very different, mind you, and you're going to tell me that's supposed to be a horseshoe crab, too. That's just uh, hopefully a placeholder. I um, oh, knew it. <coughs> Should have never brought you on board. How was that my fault? You'll never make it to Sacrament from here. Is Sacrament the capital of Sacra? This coast is crawling. The risen. <laughs> oh. The waves. Can you feel them, Father? We're back at sea. New quest, Sacrament. The ship's captain told us to try and get to the city of Sacrament, but he warned that more of the raiders who attacked our ship may lurk up ahead. Oh, and there's bounties, there's challenges. Fog 4, the map reveals your path throughout Isola. So what is Isola as opposed to Sakura? Guess we'll find out. However, the world is constantly shifting, so this path will gradually fade over time. Revisit these shrouded regions to discover new dangers and loot. Very clever. So give you valid reasons to return to areas. I like that. All right. Gnarled Staff, two-handed weapon. So what do we have here? This is three damage, that's it. it oh, it casts Fireball, ooh. Requires 10, I'm not sure if that was intelligence or focus. Wielding a Wander Staff allows you to cast powerful spells using their unique runes. Casting a spell consumes focus. Ready the weapon hand, perform a spell. Now can I also just whack with it? I can just whack with it. Now this says fireball, but one. Uh, what is that other one that costs nothing? Charge spells. Charge spells must be held to successfully cast. Be careful, these spells can be in interrupted. Is this a charge spell? Did I just get focus for that? Oh. Hmm. Okay. I'm not really. I'm not really following. But let's see what this does. Oh. Please tell me that I got cooked horseshoe crab for that. No, okay. So, but I can't use this again? I just got half focus for that. Interesting, all right. Now, if I go into it, will it tell me that that's exactly what it does? Is there a details section? Oh no, it just says channel, okay. But can I, is there anything I can do to read more about that? Any tool tips? Doesn't seem like it. All right. Jute garment. Is that any better than what I'm using currently? Is that not an article of clothing? Oh, used for upgrading crafting armor. Got it. Okay, ready? Fireball. 
Oh, I can make it get stronger. No, not as much as I would hope, though. How is it whacking you with the stick does nearly as much damage as uh, shooting with fire? Back up. And finish, good. Make sure we get that focus built up. I don't know, this game is pretty intriguing. Not necessarily something I'm uh, typically used to playing pine fishing. I just got fish, or I didn't just get fish, but I did just get the ability to fish. And there's even another resource. So press Y with a shovel equipped. I don't have a shovel, but... So how do I require the fishing rod? Oh, do I need to equip it? Find fishing rod. Oh, you have tool slots. Okay, pretty cool. So how does the fishing work? Is it fun? Press Y when a fish bites to reel it in. Please be any better than Stardew Valley is all I ask. I got a rock harp. All right, so. Oh, there needs to be a shoal of fish, though. It's not just you fish anywhere there's water. There has to be fish present. I was going to say, prepare for the next, you know, 45 minutes of fishing, but nope. Game was on to me. Ar Artemisia herb. I just died to a crab. Either I wasn't paying attention to my health, or he just dealt a lot of damage. Let's see what kind of penalty there is, though. I didn't lose anything to my either kill counter or experience. Uh, did I drop any of my money? Or I don't think so. Do you not drop anything? It might actually be pretty open. Oh, there's a lot of loot over this way, though. Oh, and then a pickaxe. That makes sense. I, I almost want to take damage just to see. But I really, I really don't. We got some clay. All right, if we want to get into sculpting, I dig that. Some money here. We got a woodcutter's axe. So are you actually friendly if I don't bother you? I guess you are. So I could go back and I could try chopping down a tree. Can I open this grate? Not can't even interact with it, so I imagine I'll be using that as a shortcut at some point. More herbs over here. Definitely gonna have some intense cooking sessions at a later time. I can just, I can just tell. Oh, I'm actually swimming, and I'm losing stamina at that. So I don't know. I don't know what that means. Like, if you if you run out of stamina, do you die? Some root and herbs and... A wildling helmet. Oh, I should equip my woodcutter's axe. Wildling helmet, 25 defense. <laughs> it looks awesome. Let's just be honest here. And this is a dead end. All right, so I either need to go under that little waterfall or just back to where I was killed by that horseshoe crab. The only person in humanity's existence to ever die by a horseshoe crab. Yeah, let's see if I can't pass through there. I can sidle. Take a little bath, even though that water's looking a little funky. Yeah, there's something to this game. I am enjoying what I've tried so far. I'd like to see, obviously, a little bit more of the combat. Uh, is there any fish? Oh, there's some fish. That's right. If this becomes a full series, <laughs> you better believe you're going to be seeing a lot of this. Oh, oh. Is there more? Is there more? I The prompt just popped up, and now it seems to be gone. Maybe I scared him away. Oh, just popped up again. At any rate. Let's go see what it looks like to chop down a tree. It has health. Good. Chopping down an entire tree gets me 
two pieces of wood feels very wasteful. Very, very wasteful indeed. Do enemies respawn? You gotta assume they do, right? This has been touted as having some souls-like influence. And yet... Oh, I'm in a different area. Chipped coal. Fire pits. Oh, with fire pits, you can cook meals using obtained resources. Every meal has different effects. Most will recover health, but some can give you temporary status effects. And you can find recipes. Love that. But I also want to loot this chest. Herbs and mushrooms. All right, so what can we cook? Ooh, mushroom soup. It only takes one mushroom and one herb. That's pretty good. Now, can you experiment? I don't think I want to use coal, but if I do, like, horseshoe crab... No, you can't. You can only seemingly craft what you learn the recipes for. All right. We'll cook five of them. That's mildly disappointing. I can deal with it. But I really did like in Zelda Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom where you could just experiment and sometimes you would uh, get lucky and sometimes not so much. So this, this is an enemy I think I killed, which means, yeah, enemies don't respawn at death. Which is nothing short of a... Uh, Peculiar to me. Right, where am I really gonna balance on this? I suppose I am. We got money and blade oil. When applied to your weapon, attacks deal additional physical damage. You know? Why did his body just move? Oh, because it actually has some uh, physics with it. Whoops. In in all the time that I've played Souls games and Souls likes, there's lots of buffs, lots of resins. I can't think of a single physical resin or, yeah, like an item that you apply to your weapon to actually deal more physical damage. That's kind of intriguing to me. Mariner's Keep, moderate, all right. Friend or foe? Definitely a foe. Alright. Oh, I don't have enough focus to actually deal magic. Or cast magic, I should say. Back up. Can I cast magic now? Yes, I can. Oh! Surprisingly, it doesn't seem like there's damage over time with the fire. It could be also that it's raining, and that's why? I'm not sure. I mean, it's really cool looking. I do like that. Nice wind-up animation. How am I get, Can I get some sort of backstab on you with... No. Uh oh Whoa. Uh -oh. Back up. Uh, how quickly can I channel? Oh, not quick enough, not quick enough. Oh, he just closed some distance. We gotta eat. How quick? Wait. Why can't I eat? I, oh, that bird just seemed to be floating. How do I eat? How do I eat? I don't know. I have no idea. I'm pushing up on the D-pad. That's not... Oh, there we go. Not very responsive for some reason. Back up, back up. Back up. Oh, did I just do some sort of roll attack with fire? Is there... Oh, I can block. That was pretty good. Back up. Sprint or dodge and press X to perform a combo attack. Oh, okay, so the tip of my gnarled sap actually kind of becomes a... Uh, temporarily inflamed when I do a roll attack. What do we have here? We got money, we've got weapon shard, and copper ingots. 
So crafting seems like it's going to play a really large part in this game. Archer pants, okay. More defense is not going to hurt. It is going to make it a little bit heavier. Alright, so I'm gaining a lot of defense though. Not to mention hiding those legs. Now I have to say when I when I did a test originally. Ooh. Storage room key. Okay, and then we can probably sidle to get back. Yes. I had found a club at this point, and it was really effective. In fact, I got a club right on the beach there, not a gnarled staff. So this is very different to me. Got a journal. Ooh, can I get a shovel? Nope, but we got a small vial of poise. Ten, uh, ten poise for 60 seconds. As I raced through the putrid swamp, the nith rose up to my left and right. The pestilence had rotted their minds, the acidic waters, their limbs, leaving only savagery and bloodlust. My sole hope was to reach solid ground, draw my sword, and make a last stand. Even if I were to die, I refused to surrender my corpse to these noxious waters. From Adventures in the Wild by Sulin Froth. Okay, you can swap the selected quick item. And then just use that to select it. Okay, I'm going to keep my soup. It's the best thing I have right now. That is a shortcut back to where I just found that one treasure chest. And, oh, is that an archer? That's an archer. Okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This is going to be a prop. Um, get some focus. Oh, no! Got a pickaxe. Yeah, I was going to try to shove him. This is kind of brutal. This is kind of very brutal, but that's okay. It's, it's... The attacks have weight. I like that. Let's go ahead and attach, or not attach, but equip our pickaxe. I do just want to go and mine that one spot that I had found. I found a couple, I believe. Chipped coal and copper. All right, let's make our way back. This is a tough weapon to use. Not dealing a whole ton of damage. To get the focus is tough because I have to go and beat them right up close to their face. Dead warriors may fall, but we will not. Upon deaf ears, prayers may fall, but we will not. Struck down, our allies may fall, but we will not. We rise. Yeah, see, now I have this enemy. Ooh, there's a chest right there. I have this enemy right here. I can't do... I can't do anything, because... Oh, I should have channeled. I don't know why I didn't. Yeah, am I? Oh, I'm I'm fat rolling. Am I in medium? I didn't think I was yet. I want to try shove it. Oh, I don't know if that's supposed to be. Oh, so you do actually have the ability to switch in between focuses, which is really cool. Okay, keep it simple. Ow. I mean, I I'm almost wondering if that's a parry. I don't know. It's not working though. Oh, why didn't it have a splash effect? Went in too early. Back up and eat up. By the way. Yeah, I guess what I need to do is some roll attacks. Also, he just completely blocked that with his shield. Ooh, that massive takedown is rough. Almost got that one. Finish him off. Oh, not quite. Okay, good. Now I need to fireball you while your shield. Oh, shield is down, leveling up. 
Wait, leveling up? That's that's the phrase, <laughs> not level up? You have gained a level. Every level up grants you three attribute points. To assign your attribute points, open the menu selector and select the stats menu. Ah, that's different. You can shoulder barge while heavy to briefly stagger enemies. Am I heavy? I am heavy. Oh, wait a second. These don't have weight, do they? No. Ugh. So wait, shoulder, what is... Oh, you gotta do them together. Oh. oh, wait a minute, that changes things. Potentially, maybe. I like it, I like it. Anyway, we are supposed to level up. So you just always get three stat points every time. That's interesting. Hmm. So what changes what? Health increases your health. Imagine that. Stamina increases your... Would you guess it? Strength doesn't seem to impact anything other than... Well, actually, I don't even really know. Probably... Oh, wait a minute. Sorry, I I'm thinking without finishing thoughts. Uh, nothing new. Okay, dexterity doesn't increase anything. Here we go. So intelligence... I would get an attribute bonus to my gnarled staff. Faith would do nothing. Focus would give me more focus, which if I want to do any sort of magic is going to be important, I imagine. Equip load. Whoa. One single point puts me in normal territory. But then again, honestly, I kind of like the idea of the, the heavy charge. Definitely going to do, I'm going to do two points into health and I'll put one into intelligence. Oh, and there it there are tooltips if you do insight, but at least only on this. So, health, self-explanatory, stamina, the same thing. Weapons of skill of strength receive a bonus. Weapons of have dexterity receive a bonus, etc. etc. And equip load, yeah. Your dodge type is determined by movement speed. I didn't actually level up those, so let's fix that. And there we go. Alright. So I think I'm going to call it apart there. This has been just a little taste. Like I said, this is going to be a mini-series of sorts. I don't know how long it's going to be. I want to get a good taste for the game without committing myself to playing this for 10, 12, 20,000 hours. But I, I enjoy so far what, I, what I'm seeing. Other than performance, which is still a little bit spotty at times. Yeah, this is, this is worth a look. But this is only part one. This is going to do it for this episode of Blue Tries No Rest for the Wicked. If you do want to try it and you've watched this far, bless your little heart. But also, if you wanted to try this game while it's in early access, I do actually have an affiliate code from Games Planet. I did not get a copy of this game from Games Planet, but they did offer a chance for me to put an affiliate link for all of you. If you want to pick it up and help support the channel, by all means, link's going to be in the description and probably in a pinned comment down below if I remember. Who knows? Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying and I will see you next time.